Well, welcome back to my collaborative project with Chris Cadle from Ankloin Displays. Chris helped me create this wonderful, genuine neon sign. Chris's details are in the video description if you'd like to talk to Chris about building your own neon sign. The last video is all about metal finishing and what a tedious job that can be towards the end, lifting all those tiny little low spots. So I've often thought about the great Ron Cavell with his bullseye pick. Reading that book many years ago gave me the idea of turning a pair of long reach sea grips. And I often thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if I could turn these into my own low spot lifter. I've just found these out. They're hanging up on my wall in the back. And they're just a, a set of cheapo grips. They're not the best in the world, but they do the job. I'm kind of contemplating on cutting these up and trying to make a, a low spot lifter, working on a similar principle to a bullseye pick. What I'm thinking is, I bought these as a set, so I got a couple of these. Um, what I reckon is, if I, if I cut that off there, so if I cut that out of there, Cut that off there. I can then cut that there, weld that to that. And that will extend the depth of the reach of the tool. And obviously I can then re-weld that onto the end of here. So the depth will be increased. And then I can make a pick at one end and an eye at the other so that the pick goes through the eye and I can use the eye to find where the low spot is to identify where it is. Um, I'm a little bit loath to do this because I'm a bit pushed for time, but I'm always pushed for time. There's never enough time, is there? At the end of the day, I'm making these videos and I've got the opportunity to do things like this right now and I may not have the opportunity to do them in the future. So. Sorry, I'm gonna go for it.
I made a few changes by utilising these old Sealy lever bars. I've got plenty of these things. A scope to make this a lot longer so I could, my reach could be massively extended if I just move this along because I'm just about to weld this to the grips. But I've stopped myself from making it any longer because these aren't the best grips in the world and what you've got to remember is you're putting tension on by creating a lot of tension in this frame when you grip it up and I think the longer it is the less effective the less pressure you'll get on the ends obviously and the other thing is as well is it's plenty long enough I've got this at 15 inches now this is plenty long enough for the job I want to do now and also what you've got to remember is you're going to be holding it at this end and then looking through the eye that end do you really want that to be like, you know, three foot away? You're not going to see. You, you're going to have to be some sort of contortionist to use the tool. So I stopped short at 15 inches. That to me would probably be good for 95% of anything I'm going to use it for. And um, if I need to, to make something that reaches further, then I can make it for that odd job but I think the usability for you know 95% of the time like I said you know being able to actually use the tool comfortably is worth far more to me than making it reach a little bit further um, yeah so I'm gonna tack that to that I just tack it I think I just tack that and then I'll tack the other one into position uh, make sure that I don't have to make any sort of final changes, I can just grind through the taxing, can't I? I finished welding at the tool. I think it's probably fit for purpose, certainly to trial it out on this project. And if it's successful, then I can complete the welds and just pretty it up. But what I thought I'd do, just to test its accuracy, is do a little sharpie spot on this scrap of metal. So I'll put a little sharpie spot. I'll try and aim for the centre of that spot with the tool and it should put a high spot in the panel of course so punching it up from underneath should put a high spot the closer I can get it to the centre of that spot the greater its accuracy is going to be so I'll just test it out aiming for the centre What did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! Certainly, when you're metal finishing, one of the big frustrations can be that you can't see where you've been. I rarely use anything, but for the purposes of this video, I used a white marker pen to show that you can use something and then it really really highlights particularly for the video so that people watching the video can see those low spots because you haven't got a chance of seeing them 
without any kind of highlighter on it at all. Now I have used some engineer's blue in the past, made an absolute mess, got all over my hands, all over my clothes, all over the tools, certainly wouldn't recommend it. If anyone's got any good recommendations, hey, I'm all ears because after the marker pen, I'm all out of ideas. Once I'm happy with the finish filing in the initial direction, I change to a perpendicular direction to highlight any low spots that I may have missed. And it's quite astounding at the amount you may have missed. Now these low spots are going to be extremely shallow, so they won't need much lifting at all. Um, again, I just use a combination of bumping file and dolly and also finish off with a low spot lifter just to get rid of any of those small spots. Each job is completely different, but providing I've methodically gone through all my processes, I always raise all my low spots when I'm metal finishing before I address any high spots. And as I said, if I've done it properly, then there are very few of these high spots and normally a very light tap of the hammer will even things out. And if I find that I'm having to get heat shrinking gear out to sort things out, then I've normally fouled up pretty badly at the start of the process. Well, thanks very much for watching. I really hope you got something from that. I hope you took a little bit of inspiration and put it with your own set of skills and trash the rest. Best advice. I can give you. So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how I polish up my metal finishing for that Instagram quality finish. And by the way, I have recently started up an Instagram account. So if you want to follow me on there, my Instagram account details are in the video description. And I will say until next time, bye for now.